Hello, everyone. Look at the card I have for you tonight. Ooh, it's called a double a shutter double fold card. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? I'm just going to go over to Facebook while I introduce myself. Welcome to my craft room. I'm Glenda Mollett, and I am an independent stamping up demonstrator on the west coast of Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada, in one of the most beautiful areas there is. All right, there we go. Oh, StreamYard's doing its thing. Hey, Janet. Yeah, I can't see your name. Oh, there's Connie. How can I? I don't know how I could see Connie and not Janet. Anyways, so here's the card. It is a trifold shutter double card. So there's the trifold shutter part, and there's the double part. So exciting! Let me flip you around. So I have I gave you the recipe of what you needed. Hi, Debbie. You gave you the recipe of what you needed to prepare to do it with me, or you can do it if you're watching the replay. Um, I put I also put the recipe in the description of this video so you'll be able to see it. And I also gave you hints of what I'm using because I can't get enough of this Irresistible Blooms stuff and the Hello Irresistible designer paper. You can make an amazingly gorgeous card with no stamping. I added a bit of stamping to this. There's a sentiment on the front and a sentiment in the middle. And, but that's it. The rest is just designer paper. Oh, there's another one I don't know. Carmen. I can't see Carmen's name either. Anyways, so I'm going to score and cut the base for this with you. I didn't do it ahead of time. But to do that, I have to move the card. So I'm sorry. I know that it says we should leave the card there in front of you but so i did my template this is the one that will go into my template drawer or my template box has all of the instructions on it i got this fun fold from lisa ann bernard and i love it okay so, so we're going to start with cardstock I'm using, I've changed the colors up a bit from this one. I used Flirty Flamingo and Pale Papaya and Soft Sea Foam. So this one, the base is going to be Soft Sea Foam. There's another Facebook user, Yvonne. Oh, macaroni. Wish I could see the names, but that's okay. All right. So this cardstock is 11 inches long by five and a quarter inches wide. And we're going to score it. I see how I even wrote the score lines nice and big so you could read them. And now I'm gonna cover them up with my score tool. And you can use your, um, oh no. Oh, I packed my cutter because I have a craft fair on Saturday. And I packed my cutter. Uh-oh. You're going to have to excuse me for one sec while I run and get my paper printer. Hang on. Don't go away. Oh, good Lord. Okay, I got it. Good. Now, I'm back. So, 11 inches long by five and a half inches wide. No, five and a quarter inches wide. Sorry. See, I can't even read my own writing. 11 inches long by five and a quarter inches wide. And we're going to score it at... If I put this here, you'll be able maybe you'll be able to see while I do it. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to score it at one and three quarters, three and a half, 
five and a oh. okay i messed that one up because i scored it oh, maybe the other way around hang on no we'll just pretend that score line's not there and then again at seven so that is one and three quarters, three and a half, five and a quarter, and seven. Now the other piece that we have to cut score is uh, pale papaya. And this one is seven and a half by five. Now, on my original one, oh, yeah, I do say pale papaya. So pale papaya, seven and a half by one. And I'm going to score this one at, let me find it here, three and three quarters. So this is going to fold in half, and half of seven and a half is three and three quarters. So that one is not hard to do. Hi, Pat. Okay. I'm going to get my my paper trimmer now because now we have to cut it in between the one and three quarters and the five and a quarter okay so we've done we've done these score lines one and three quarters three and a half five and a quarter and seven. So now we're going to put it in the paper trimmer at one and a quarter and I'm going to cut between that one and three quarter inch piece and the five and a quarter inch. Um, what do you call it? Score line. And you're gonna do it at the top and at the bottom. So I'm gonna line this up at one and a quarter inches on the right on the right hand side here. And I'm going to cut between five and a quarter over top of the one that is at three and a half. And I'm going to go right to the one and three quarter inch piece or piece score line. And then lift it up your paper trimmer cutter part. And I'm going to line this side up at one and a quarter inches. And we're going to do the same thing. Cut between the one and three quarters and the five and a quarter. There, that's it. That's the whole thing in a nutshell. Now, just like I said, just pretend that this score line is not there because I put it in the wrong spot. So I'm just going to use my bone folder and kind of unfolded a bit you know some days your brain works and some days it doesn't so i'm supposed to be having a, a free class on sunday on zoom and stream to my vip page and i don't think i'm going to be able to do it okay so you're going to You're going to fold this gets folded, but not here. You're going to fold this he here without folding that part. And if you do fold this part, it's not a big deal because um, you're going to cover it up anyways. Who just said hello to me? Oh, there's Dimity. Hello, Dimity. Okay, so I'm going to push that one down and push that one down while I keep that the one in the middle kind of straight. So now I've I've got this. This part comes up and these so that's a mountain and these two become a valley and then this becomes a mountain again. So you don't really fold this centerpiece at all. So this and this become a mountain. This becomes a valley. 
So you just gotta, you're just kind of persuading it. And then this becomes a mountain. And that's going to like that. And then this folds down like that. Did you get that? Shall I do it for you again? Okay. So this is one and three quarters. And I put my fingers in behind there and just kind of fold over top of my fingers and then move to the one to the three and a half. And I put my fingers in the front and push down. Then I move to the five and a quarter and push up so that you end up with mountain, valley, mountain. And then this part doesn't fold and this part doesn't fold just this folds in the middle so a mountain so you're kind of going to have it's going to look like that mountain valley mountain and then this is a mountain and then you fold it over in half at that seven inch did that make sense it's all in the it's all in the folding part I'm just going over each one. And I'm going to make sure that the folds are burnished because then they're going to lay down nice and flat. And then this goes down like that. Did that make sense? Is anybody creating or are you just watching? I know sometimes you watch because, you know, I screw things up and it's better to watch it once. <laughs> I know. Hopefully that wrong score line I did was my only screw up. So there we go. That's the base for the card. Oh, somebody's creating. Oh, I wish I could see the names. Janet's creating. Car Connie is watching and Carmen is watching. Aha. Okay, so that's the whole base of the card right there. So we did the, on this one, it's pale papaya. Now we're going to take a piece of, I'm going to use evening evergreen. I don't know how this, <laughs> somebody's cutting and watching. Dimity's cutting and watching and Wendy is trying to create. Pat is watching. Aha. Okay. So I'm going to put this whole piece right onto my evening evergreen. Yeah. So what I was saying was I had said that I would be doing a free class on Sunday night on Zoom, but I'm not thinking I'm going to have time to create anything. So stay tuned. It may happen. It may not happen. I'll see how things go. Because I have to. Saturday I'm at a craft fair all day. So if you live in town. Come on down to the. To the Catholic Church. That we're having a. Craft vendor fair. And there's. You can have Chili and a bun for five dollars and it's homemade chili because the, the cwl ladies make the chili and hot drinks are a dollar a piece who's watching oh hello carolyn are you still out camping okay so this is seven and a half by five and i scored it at three and three quarters so that's going to go in here so that's the double part But I think I'm going to put designer paper and stuff on the other and do some work before I do that. Okay, so these pieces I'm going to need to cut. Oh, I forgot that. So stay tuned to the end. I got some birthday cards I'll share with you. I just remembered that I got them out. Okay, so now we're going to cut the designer paper. 
I don't know why I got that piece out. You know, I, I plan these cards in my head and then later on, I don't remember when it comes time to make them with you. I don't remember what I planned. Oh, knee surgery. Are you having a replacement or a meniscus repair? Hey, Norma. Oh, Norma must be working. Okay, so this is six by six. Hello, irresistible designer paper. And I'm going to cut it down to five by six. So because this piece which is only five and a quarter inches wide, I want my designer paper to be five inches. So turn it sideways and cut it off at five inches. Oh, good luck. Now the weather's starting to get good and you have to go home. Okay, so we have six inches wide, five inches long. And we're going to cut this. We're going to cut this. Okay, so I'm going to cut the two outside pieces at one and a half. And then in the center, I'm going to cut. Okay, so I'm going to cut on one side at one and a half. This is just so you can keep your pattern. If you have a piece that doesn't have a pattern, you don't have to be this specific. So I cut it at one and a half on that side. And I'm going to flip it and I'm going to cut it at one and a half on that side. So now I have this. Okay, so these are the two outside pieces. Oh, my nose is itchy. Ah, you will be home for a few weeks, like 10 or 12 weeks. Holy macaroni. My hubby had knee replacement in 2020. That's the year COVID hit, right? Yeah, it was 2020. So I had got those two pieces are cut. So that's this. So I'm going to put those off to the side. And we're going to cut the center piece now. And cut one inch on both ends. So sorry, I'm just making oh both ends. Never mind. So you're gonna cut off one inch on the bottom and one inch on the top. Whoops, oh, shoot. So now I have a piece that is three, three by three, okay? So there we do. So this is what we have. These are the two outside pieces. So that's this piece and this piece. And then the one in the middle, I cut off the inch and the inch. So that's those two pieces. Okay, I'm reading, hang on. And then we're gonna cut those down. These are three inches, so I'm going to cut these in half at one and a half. And I'm going to try to keep them together because I kind of want to keep my um, my pattern on my designer paper. Oops, that one moved. Shoot. There. Okay, so that, those two become these top pieces and these bottom pieces. And now I'm going to cut this. So we've got three by three left and you need it to be not three inches, but I want to cut 
the width first. So I want this side only because I'm picky. And I think that's one and a half by two and a half. Just let me, oh, I can look at my template. Duh. Yeah. So we want to cut that down to one and a half by two and a half. See, it does pay to have the template. So that's going to cut at one and a half. And I've got it upside down. So that becomes my right hand piece. And now I'm going to cut off, cut this down to two and a half. Now, this is where I have to let my OCD go because you're not going to be able to make it match because you have to cut off this much, which makes up for all of the, the pieces that are like the frames that are in there. Hey, Marsha. Okay. And I think that's it. All right, so we have one and a half by five, one and a half by five, one by one and a half times four pieces, and one and a half by two and a half. Okay. We'll get those on and we'll see. I'm going to bring back in my... Sorry, but I have to get that out of the way. I'm going to bring back in my hard here figure out which way it goes because it the pattern only works one way okay goes mm -hmm. that way and that way and that way there we go yes it worked okay now let's get this on here before I lose. You could use designer paper that does not have a pattern on it. And then, you know what? You don't have to worry about it. You would just put it on, cut the pieces, put them on, and not have to worry about all of this um, stuff happening. It would be better if that extra score line wasn't there, but, you know, it's life. Okay, so I'm going to work across the top because I want to keep the the designer paper at the same height all the way across. So when I put this piece on, I'm going to keep it kind of in line with that height there. So there's that one. And we'll put adhesive on this one. Come on. So you guys had a good week? What did you do? What did you do this week? It's been a few days. Since we were together, did you get out and enjoy the sunshine? Did you have sunshine where you live? We've had gorgeous weather the past two days. It's definitely spring-like weather now. I have glue on my paper here. Um, it hit 21. I went for a walk yesterday and the day before and today. Just out enjoying the gorgeous weather. Okay, so now I'm going to put this one on and I'm going to keep it up the top, the same height all the way across. Now I'm going to put these two pieces on and hopefully continue on with the pattern. Yep, hey, it worked. Fish, prawn, crab, and finally walk. Ooh, who is that? Oh, Carolyn. Oh, I so envy you at, with weather like this out where you are. Are the crab, is there lots of crab out there this year? We haven't even got our boat ready yet. Been um, busy doing other stuff. Oh, Connie. Connie says she had to look at the sunshine through the windows at work. I'm sorry. I'm lucky I have a boss that lets me take time off when I want to go for a walk. <laughs> I love what I do. All right. There's that. And now this piece, it goes on here.
I love this designer paper. This is the Hello Irresistible designer paper. And I thought it would have been sold out by now, but it's not. Oh, just for some. Well, I figure even if you get just enough for dinner, it's a good prawning day. There we go. So because I, ooh, I have my window open. I hope you didn't hear that horn. Um, because I kept the integrity of the pattern, it kind of flows, which I think is pretty cool. Okay. So did you get that designer paper, the sizes and where that needs to go? Because now I'm going to get my stylish shapes, shapes, and I'm going to use the stitched rectangle of the stitch squares in there, the two biggest ones. So the biggest one, I'm going to cut a piece of soft sea foam. And the next size down, I'm going to cut a piece of basic white. And that'll be for the front, like that. And of course, once you get the layout of your card, you can decorate it the way you want. Can't write that fast, let alone craft. Well, that's okay. You have a choice. You could either craft or you could write because you don't have to do them both because up in the description of the video, I put the measurements. So you're going to be good to go either way. And you can always, when you go back and watch the replay, you can always rewind it and pause it. Okay, I'm going to layer the white on onto the soft sea foam. I could go slower, but this video would be an hour and a half long. <laughs> and I don't think you want me to be nattering at you for an hour and a half. Okay, so there's the oh, getting glue everywhere tonight. Thank goodness for glue erasers. So don't forget, if you're enjoying this video, hit those emojis down there and let Facebook know you, th you think it's good content. So this is going to line up right there. So it's going to go right along the top here and here. Now, if you don't have the stylish shapes dies, then you want a piece that is... Um, two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths, the soft sea foam. And then for the white, you want a piece that is, hang on, forget my, my ruler. You want a piece that is two and three eighths by two and three eighths. Just in case you don't have those stylish shapes dies. And if you don't have them, you need to get them. Because, holy man, I can't tell you how many times I've used these stylish shaped dies in my cards. So if you're not already a member, of, subscribe to my email, my weekly newsletter, where I always hand out free card tutorials. Click on that link just above there and subscribe to my weekly newsletter so you'll get all of my information and you'll get replays of all my videos too because I put video links in my newsletters. So there we go. There's, there's that. Now, I'm going to put that off to the side and I'm going to take this. Thanks, Marsha. I'm just kind of making sure it's good and flat because now this piece is going to go inside. So I have, where did I put that piece of designer paper that I cut off? I didn't throw it away, did I? No. All right. 
I have to cut some leaves. I have to cut some flowers, but I need that piece of that long, thin piece of designer paper. There it is. <laughs> Hello. So you have this piece of designer paper left over, and I'm going to cut it and use it on the inside. And then I'm going to use some part flowers on the inside as well. So this piece, you want it to be half inch by three and a half inches times two pieces. So it is an inch wide. Let's get my paper trimmer here. Might as well use all this paper, right? I'm going to use the other side though. This paper trimmer leaves a little bit of a roundy edge. And when I flip it over, I like to take my fingernail and make it so that it's a little bit flatter. So I need this to be three and a half inches. We'll just trim that at three and a half. And then we have to cut it to a half an inch. There we go. I can't pick it up. Okay, see that those are going to go on the inside. So let's just put those on right now. I do have the sizes written where to fold, Dimity. Um, they're not on the recipe, though, because I didn't want to confuse anybody. So I will, I will go back in after. Where did I put my... While I'm doing this, here you go. There's the there's the fold. The cardstock base. Oops, doesn't go on here. It goes on here. The cardstock base was eleven by five and a quarter, and then you're going to fold, score that at one and three quarters, three and a half, five and a quarter, and seven. And then you're going to cut it, use your paper trimmer, and cut it at one and a quarter inches between the one and three quarter um, score line and the five and a quarter score line. So those are the measurements. Why is this not working? Come on. Oh, must be getting to the end. When it gets to the end of these things, they start getting ornery. It's like I've you've used me enough now. Stop. Okay. And of course, I will put all of that information in the description of the video when I put it on my YouTube channel. So if you're watching this on YouTube, then the measurements and the score lines will be in the description of the video. So just click on more underneath my video and you'll get the measurements and the score lines and stuff. Okay, so now this is going to go on to my pale papaya piece, like that on the front. And then I have another piece. So that's this. And I've got to cut these out. And then I have another piece to put on the inside. And I'm not going to do that because I want to put the flowers on. And then I'll be able to cut them. All right. So now I need to cut out a whole bunch of flowers. I need one full flower. One, two, three, four part flowers. Now this paper is kind of cool because you can either use your dies on it or you can fussy cut it. So the dies are the irresistible blooms dies. And I'll just get these out. And we're going to die cut. 
some flowers. So one whole one, and I'll do that one of the biggest, the biggest ones. This is the smaller flower that I'm cutting out here. But you got to use all those pieces around the outside as well. These pieces, they're handy for the inside. Okay, now I need, I'll just give this a bit of a trim. I don't want to run that whole thing through the machine. Now, do, do, do. You know, it's all in the, how you hold your tongue when it comes time to. There we go. Line that up. So that's one part flower, one full flower. And then I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six leaves. And I love how the dies cut out everything on this designer paper. Okay, so how are you guys doing with with your cards? Those of you that are creating, are you getting are you getting it done? Do you need me to tell you any more information? Because once you get that done, you can pretty well um, create the cards yourself. afterwards okay i'm gonna run these through the machine now and get some pieces cut mostly done oh good uh oh shoot hang on my paper's ripping because I had it poking out over top of outside of the confines of my die cutting machine. That's not a good thing. Hang on. Just got to fix this. Okay. There we go. Running it through. So who got this gorgeous, irresistible blooms up. Did you get the paper and the stamp set of the dies? Did you get any of it? Now, these little tiny flowers here, they do cut out, or little tiny leaf things. There is a die to cut those out as well. Not that one, because it's the wrong one. This one here. See, that, that cuts that out, but I'm not using those this time. <laughs> oh, Connie did, who's scrapbook, Facebook user, somebody said. Oh, Carolyn did. Yeah, me too. Well, you're going to have fun, Carolyn, when you're, when you can't move, you'll be able to craft. Did you get a, one of the um, knee cuffs? Because those, the knee cuff is very handy when it comes time for your healing process. It's it's like a um, cold pack, a continuously pumping cold pack. This one die keeps digging itself into the cutting plate. So I have one large flower. I should have done some of these ahead of time. I apologize. This could take forever. <laughs> but like I said, I've been so busy. Good thing my hubby does all the cooking. Or we would not be eating because I'm trying to get things done in time to go away. And the weekend was a write-off because I had so much other stuff I needed to do on the weekend. I didn't get anything done. Pat has extra and she loves it. Debbie got it all, but but haven't used it. Oh, Debbie, get it out. Get it out. 
Jiminy, thank you for putting your name in there. That saves me flipping back and forth. So Dimity said she used one piece to make a purse. Cool. I hope that this paper's around forever, but it's one of the online exclusives. So you know what that means. It's only here as long as the supply they ordered is here and it could disappear at any time. So if you haven't ordered it yet and you need to order it, you better do it soon because you, we never know when it's going to disappear. That's why I've been using it a lot lately. I'm sure that my Sunshine Club ladies are probably getting sick of using this. And the other one I've been using a lot for them is the um, Seaside Bay. We've made a lot of cards out of Seaside Bay too. Oh, I would lend you ours, Carolyn, but I have a friend who's having a knee replacement on Tuesday, and he has ours. If you know anybody that has one, I suggest you get it. Much better than an ice pack. And I know they're expensive. I know. Okay, another flower here. Once I figure out where it goes, there we go. So I need how many more? So that's the two for there and I need two more. So there'll be one and I'll have to do a full one. And then I need two more leaves. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, he was supposed to, he's had it for over a year because he's now almost two years since they started his process to have his knee replacement. And we all thought it would happen a lot sooner than it did. But you know, our medical system, it's hurry up and wait. Just thankful that they're fine. He's finally having it. Okay, and this one, and then that'll be it for the leaves. Now let's just cut this because it's easier to put into my machine when it's little bitty pieces. that on to go through, put this on to go through. And I think I will just, don't know where that came from. Lovely little piece of paper clip there. Put that through. And I think I will cut out this big one. We'll just use the big one in there. I'm patient with the cutting. Oh, well, you know. It is what it is. It's either this or I fussy cut. And I, this is a lot to fussy cut and make you guys sit through. So, Oh, who's late to the party? I can't see names tonight. I don't, I don't know why StreamYard does this. It's like when people say they can share their name once, why do they not just keep sharing it? Oh, hi, Val. Uh. Yeah, Val. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Fell down inside my machine. This one fell on the floor. We just did a, a class in Powell River on Sunday using this bundle. And I have a friend over there who's... Oh, Rosemary's there too. Nice. Well, thank you, Facebook user, for telling me who the people are. I appreciate that. I think I think we got things cut now. 
Who is that kind Facebook person? Oh, Rosemary, thank you and welcome. All right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six leaves, one full flower for the front, one, two, three heart flowers, and then I've got one full one that I'll cut down because why not? I got lots of them. I might have an extra pack or two of this paper. Yep, was supposed to have two years ago waited past six months, had to go through whole referral thing again. Oh my gosh. Why do they have to make things so difficult for people who are in pain? I don't understand. That just blows my mind. Well, my hubby was scheduled. Oh, that was Carolyn. Yeah. My hubby was scheduled for April. I don't think it was April the 6th or something, 2020. So you know what happened in 2020 on the 15th of March? And they shut all surgeries down. Well, it was a while before he got his surgery. Okay. Perfect. Got all the pieces now. Get my card out here. So this one is the one that goes on the inside. And I'm going to put one flower. See, you just take these part flowers and just kind of put them right up against that um, strip there. And then, what did I do here? Put a double one here. And I'm going to, I think I'll cut that one. Pretend it was a part. Look at this. Look at this. Every time I pick my scissors up, my paper clip comes with it. I'm just going to give this a trim because I just want to stick this down in here like that. And then we'll take one of the triple ones. We'll do the same thing here. Just kind of fit that underneath. So I want to cut that right along there. Like that. Perfect. Okay, let's get some adhesive on these things. I'm going to give up with the, that lovely tape that's not working for me. We'll get some glue on the back of these things. And then I'll let it dry. And then we'll have lots of little glue dots everywhere. So my birthday ordering specials, don't forget um, the new one released yesterday. You will receive a free embellishment from me with every order of $60 or more. And um, that does not include if you purchase the the gil naturally gilded designer paper or the brush grass butterflies. But you can keep all of your orders until after next Wednesday when my last, is it Wednesday or Thursday? Thursday. My last um, birthday special will happen on May the 4th. And then I'll put your orders in. That way you're not getting charged all that um, shipping. You only get shipping once. Okay. Well, I put this down and I didn't leave this lifted up here so I can tuck this leaf underneath there. Sorry if my hand got in the way there. Just right up against that bottom, like that. Now we'll put the one on the top. 
see how easy it is? No, I haven't pushed that side down yet because I got to want to tuck the leaf underneath there. See how easy it is with this paper to create an absolutely gorgeous card? And I haven't stamped anything yet. There we go. So there's the, there, I'm just going to put the stamp, the sentiment in there. Now this one, it goes on the inside of the inside. So I'm going to put, I think I'm going to be able to, oh. I thought I was going to be able to use that, but no. Let's put some glue on there. One, two, oh. It was supposed to be a double, and I put glue on my triple. That's the one that goes on the front. Okay. I'm going to take... I have two of these, so I'm going to put one down here in the corner. And then I'm going to cut it off. That's why I haven't put this inside yet. I think this is going to work. Oh, good lord. All right. Now, I'm going to put this down here in the corner, like that. Then I'll cut that off. But I want to tuck this three-leafer in here, underneath it. I just have to um, make sure that, hang on. I'm going to cut this first, and then I'm going to put this inside. Then I'll know how far I can go out past the edge with that leaf. I love, love it. We'll have to make it when I go home. Oh, Carolyn. Yeah, it's, I love doing fancy folds. And when I decided to turn my Thursday thoughts into fancy folds and techniques, I didn't know how much I was going to enjoy doing it. Okay, so this is going to go inside here. But fancy folds are my jam. Okay, now I'm going to take this triple leaf and just kind of fit down underneath that. But see, I can kind of play with it a bit so that it I don't go past where that fold is there. I can put that right up against so that this is still folding. There we go. Perfect. Now this one is going to go up here in this corner. Like that, and then I'm going to take this double leaf, and I'm going to tuck it down underneath, just like I did the other one, like that. There we go. There's the inside of the inside. Now, I have to stamp on this. Do you think I'm going to be able to get this stamped properly? Straight, maybe? Cross your fingers, ladies. You, I'm going to need your, I need your prayers right now. Because this is going on right there. Please let it be straight. Please let it be good. <laughs> oh, it's a little crooked, but it'll do. Look at that. Woohoo. All right. Put the lid on the black. Now this is going to go inside that base that we did, maybe. If I can get my adhesive to work. So don't forget to, oh, thank you. 
Um, don't forget to hit those emojis if you are enjoying my video. If you're watching the replay, thank you so much for watching. The recipe for this card is in the description of the video. And, oh, it's smushed. Shoot. Um, and I will go back in and put the score line measurements in there too. And if you're watching on YouTube, it's in the description of the video for you. There. All right. Yay. Now, this one goes on the front with the leaves tucked underneath. So I really want to be able to use this right in the center. Let's hold your breath. There we go. Hey, it's working. Yay. And this is going to go down here like this because I want to put the sentiment in there. And then we're going to tuck the triple leaf. I will put up, slide it in on the top like that. I didn't put glue on the double. Oh my goodness. Some days. So my the um, Rhino Ready class is still open. I have two spots left. If anybody wants to join us for the Rhino Ready class, all of the die cutting will be done for you. If you don't have the Rhinoceros stamp set, then just use, um, I don't know, Hippo stamp set for inside sentiment please it's the same it's irresistible blooms all i'm using is irresistible blooms so there it is right there um i'm i all of the stamping will be done for you you know what i think i'm going to change this i want to use um you can never just had to get it because it was hiding. You're welcome. Whoever that was. Who was that? Oh, that was Janet. Oh, look at all those love hearts happening. Thank you, ladies. Okay, now I'm going to use the hello. And this one I did in Memento, but this one I'm going to do in evening evergreen because it's probably the last time I'll use this color because you know it retires in a week <sighs> May the 2nd it's not even a week it will be Tuesday Monday is the last day to get anything from the current catalog that is on the last chance list or the mini catalog and there's some really good bargoons in there like stuff is some of it is dirt cheap sorry i had a sneeze coming <laughs> oh pardon me that was a good one okay so i'm cutting this out thanks connie So I cut out, out only partially because I want it to be flat on one end to go up against the end of the card. Now this this die is in the stylus shapes dies. I didn't show you the stuff that I was using before we started, did I? Um, I apologize. And you know what I just realized? There's no bling on here. I'm just going to give this a trim, make it short. What bling do you think I should use on this card? And nothing is popped up either. Everything is flat. Look at that. Perfect. Ideas for what bling I should put on there? Anybody got any ideas? 
And we'll just put that sentiment right up against that right-hand side there. There you go. Look at this amazing card. Is that not gorgeous? Now, while you're deciding what embellishments I should put on there, I'm going to stamp the envelope. Where's my paper that I wrote all over? I might as well use this. Then, you guys, there's the score lines again. And I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo. Thanks, Debbie. I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo and put some flowers on the envelope. There we go. I actually did some stamping. <laughs> All right. Nobody is telling me what bling I should use. I didn't even put them there. Okay. Um, um, nope. I want... Where are the iridescent rhinestones? There they are. I think I think these ones would work because loose oh, oh white dot white pearls and loose frosted dots. Hmm. I don't have any loose frosted dots that are already self adhesive, but let's these are the iridescent rhinestones, and these are not retiring. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look, they pick up all the colors in that cardstock. So let's just pop a few of these babies on there. There's different sizes, but I don't think I want the bigger ones. I'll put one here. And... One over there. One more. One more. Right down there. There we go. What do you think? Perfect. Oh, I didn't use any winky either. Oh, my goodness. I'm kind of falling down on the job tonight. Let's get the winky out. This one I think I'll stick over there. There. I did them different. Yay! Thanks, Pat. Okay. Wink of Stella come hither. Uh-oh. I stored it upside down. Do you know when you when you store your Wink of Stella, you should always store it with this part up. You stand them up like this. It's It um, stops it from pooling down on the tip. Now, I'm not coloring the whole flower. I just like to do dots every once in a while and i'm going to open this up put a few here and a few here and then we'll open this up and we'll put a few here look at that an hour and we've done the card now right in the center I think the rhinestones are pretty because they, they have pinks and greens in them, just like the card does. I lost my other envelope now. Oh, there it is. Now, I promised you I would show you um, my birthday cards that I've received so far. Get them in order that I received them. This one's from Connie. And she wrote me a lovely little note on a separate piece. Look at this. Look at the bling. Can you see the bling? She gold embossed it, but then she went over top of it with Wink of Stella. And that is stamped right onto some designer paper. Did you fussy cut that, Connie? That is amazing. Who's, who's am I laughing at? Oh, Valerie. 
You haven't got yours yet. So this one, and do you see the little cat in there? She put a little cat under the vellum. Isn't that? And then under there is um, a, like a window. That must have, where did that come from? Connie, where did that window thing come from? Is that stamping up? Was that in something and I just missed it? I love it. And there's the inside. What a gorgeous card. Thank you, Connie. Do you see what she did to the pot? She stamped it. And she cut it out. And then she added a little flower stamp on it. And then she went around the outside with gold embossing powder. Paper pumpkin? Ah, paper pumpkin. That's beautiful. Thank you. And then got this one from Karen. Look at this. Now, this is not stamping up. But is that okay? I want you to look really closely at the background. She's used, she's done some sponging and used um, a mask. Isn't that amazing? Just a little bit of coloring there on the flowers. Every dream begins with a wish. And look, she did the sponging inside too. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. And then the final one I've received so far is from Pat. Look at this. This is the... Okay. What die is that? Is that the two? Yeah, two torn floral. So these are the flowers. And she's die cut or sponged it and die cut it. Um, Pat, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you die cut this and then used it as a, a mask to color another card front, right? And then you used the part that you met, did the coloring on for the, another card front. So you kind of got two card fronts out of one thing. Isn't that beautiful? And the inside. Thank you. I love getting cards. I love, love, love it. I got some swap cards too, but I don't want to show you yet because they're for the new catalog. Yes, right. Made two cards. So I'm also ha said that I was going to have an, a catalog launch on the 6th of May. And I'm going to have to cancel that because my orders have not arrived yet. I only got one out of my three orders. And so I'm not going to have anything to show you. My The paper's not going to be here. The stamp sets, I can't, I, they haven't even shipped yet. So if they ship tomorrow, which is Friday, then they're not going to get here till next Friday. And there is no way I'm going to be able to get together an open house in a day. So I'm going to cancel it and I will, I will do it in may in june when i get back yeah they have they have um they had as many orders on the 4th of april almost as many orders on the 4th of april as they had of all of march and it's put them so far behind they are uh, like 10 to 12 days picking right now so they're coming yeah it's in 15 and a half years, I have never seen shipping this slow. That's how many orders they had. It was their highest order day ever in 35 years was April the 4th. So April the 4th, this all happened. And then the other orders were trickling in on top of that. And then they had free shipping day on the 19th. So those two days, April the 4th and April the 19th combined, there was more orders in those two days than there was all of March. Oh, somebody's lucky. Oh, Wendy. Yeah, they're, so they're, they're shipping. Today they were shipping the 19th. Any orders that were orders on the 19th. So they're up to that. So it's coming. It's just that it's not going to happen in my craft room in time for me to make samples. I'm sorry. So look forward to that in June when I get back and I'll have, I'll be able to show you 
pictures and all sorts of stuff from my trip as well. Yeah. Um, they're coming. I have every faith that they're coming. They're just not coming in time for me to get stuff done. And even the swaps that I'm getting in, people are late with their swaps because they're not getting their stuff in either. So it's not just us here on the West Coast. It's everywhere. The whole entire North America is in the same boat. Okay, I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else for you other than make sure you um, subscribe to my newsletter because every Tuesday at 8 o'clock a.m. Pacific time, my newsletter shoots out and there's always a free tutorial along with lots of information on what's happening in my world. Hope you enjoyed making the card with me tonight. Another gorgeous fun fold. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you on Monday at 8 o'clock because I have another card for you to do. Have a wonderful weekend. Oh, you're very welcome. Thanks. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. I love doing fun folds. More coming. <laughs> have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you soon in my craft room. Stamp and smiles. Bye for now.